My name is uh, Rutang Rubasi. I'm from Lusaka, Zambia. I'm the team leader of uh, African Enterprise, Southern Africa Regional Office, uh, which, is, uh, which brings together three countries, Zambia, Malawi, and Zimbabwe, and uh, whose goal is actually to reach one million people in the next five years. I joined staff of African Enterprise last year in March, so I've just clocked one year, and I did my induction in Harare, and uh, Lilongwe finally came to Nairobi. I was supposed to proceed to Kigali to actually do this training that we're just doing uh, this, this past week. So I was so excited to be here and I've learned a lot. It, uh, it, I was troubled actually, I must say. <laughs> Every time I thought about the social action of uh, African enterprise, I didn't think it was adequate, you know. I kind of saw uh, very sporadic interventions, like uh, a boho here, a women's group there, and I used to wonder how in the world would that impact a city, you know, but what I saw during the course of this week was quite amazing because I saw uh, the community transformation uh, groups, which is a concept of um, uh, uh, women or groups of people coming together and, and using their own local resources, maybe money, putting money together to, you know, and build from there. In other words, what they have, their assets. And what was exciting for me is it has the ability to actually, um, you know, increase in terms of uh, the number of uh, CTGs, as we call them. And uh, I heard of, for example, Rwanda having 10,000 uh, CTGs, and I thought that was awesome. So that does sound like we can actually make a huge difference within communities and even cities as well. Uh, the work of Africa Enterprise is really exciting in the sense that, uh, you know, we don't just concentrate on proclamation, but we actually do the proclamation as well as uh, what we call the deeds, you know. Um, I, I think that's what it ought to be, uh, because now you're talking about, you know, the whole gospel. You know, man is not just uh, spirit or soul, is also a human being with, uh, you know, material as well as physical uh, uh, needs. And, uh, you know, those needs have to be met. And if they are not met, for example, we're just concentrating on proclamation, for example, because the other physical needs are not met, that person may not even come to know the Lord Jesus Christ because they will think, what am I going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, you know, so if, if uh, and, and, and also we need to appreciate that uh, that's what it, that's exactly what the Lord Jesus Christ did, you know, he, he met people's needs. The 5,000 were, were hungry and, uh, and, 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 and he, 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 he fed them, you know, he healed the sick and he met literally the needs of, of people. He didn't just speak, um, he did not just only speak to them, you know, the gospel as we know it in terms of uh, proclamation to, to talk about the forgiveness of sins and, and, and so on, but he actually met their every, 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 every need. And, and I think that's the mandate of, uh, of, of the whole church uh, for, for us to be able to, you know, uh, share the gospel holistically, uh, to, to integrate missions as it were, you know, because people are spirit, soul and body and their needs need to be, uh, you know, met, met in that fashion. Thank you.